we really had a passion to reach our community and love our city and to be able to start new ministries and plant churches and realize that uh, the whole idea of what we thought we were doing as church uh, wasn't working. The, the desire of like, well, what does Eddie want to do in a city? I want to plant a church. I want to fill seats. I want to, I want to, I want to build a, I want to build a big church for Jesus. Though that is not in, in itself a bad thing, uh, it might not be exactly what God was looking to do. So then we realized that it's really about following after Jesus. He connected people. Uh, he loved on them. He served them and he proclaimed the good news of Jesus. And so we realized that we had to get back to a simpler model of following Jesus and really encountering people. And naturally the overflow of that, uh, as the scripture says, the all by itself growth is multiplication. And so you take one seed and God makes us a forest out of a seed. And so we realized that we were gonna invest in people and we wanted to be able to see our geography, our region, the losses in that to be reduced. I knew I had a call to, to do something more. What it was, yeah, I didn't know, but I just, I just had a call. I knew I, I had to do more. The youth pastor came up and says, how about you come out and help with the kids? And so I started helping out with the, with the children's church. And next thing you know, he says, you, you need to start giving messages. You know, and again, I knew there was more that I needed to do. And once I gave my first message, that's when I knew you know, that it, I was called to, to, do, to do more than just go to church. And I'm praying, what do you want me to do, Lord? Because I know I, I'm supposed to do more than this. And this is when Eddie came in and says, hey, I'm starting an internship. I've seen a change in you. Would you like to, would you like to apply for it? Mike immediately got involved. And um, uh, Mike started serving, getting involved in all areas of ministry. He was an elder at the church, and but really felt the call to that God was calling the pastor and, and pastor congregation. And Mike ended up retiring from the apartment early so that he could launch uh, this new church into Venice. Uh, that's where the Lord, I believe, put on my heart to go. Um, it was an area of the city that was growing. There's brand new developments going on there. Since then, we've been, what I say, we've been in training. You know, God's teaching us how to, how, how to be a church and be a team for His glory. I'm from Puerto Rico, a town called Yauco, Puerto Rico, and I had that passion for, for ser serve the Lord and, and, you know, and, and to do outreach and, and to share the gospel with the other people that I know. So in the process, I met Eddie. I got that burden that I wanted to share what God did in my life and my family to my people. We started another uh, congregation um, uh, in Spanish because there, there was a huge Spanish population moving into our city. I, I approached my wife and I said, you know, I think it's time for us to, you know, to, you know, to launch and, and help Eddie and apply for internship and then uh, and here I am. I'm excited about the uh, Archie's passion for outreach in the community. And on top of that, his excitement to collaborate uh, with the English congregation to do things together. You know, why reinvent the wheel when you have something going on? I think the collaboration and the ministry partnerships that's gonna be done, even though there's a language barrier, but there's a lot of things we can do together, I think is gonna be phenomenal.